Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a trail, and today I just got this Galaxy Book S that just came in the mail from FedEx with this multi port adapter that came with it. And yeah, I already know that you're asking, Latrell. I think you kind of already got a Galaxy Book S unboxing done already. Yeah, I did, but this one is kind of special. So this one actually has an Intel processor instead of this Snapdragon processor here. So we'll talk about that more in a minute, but let's get into it. Alright, so we're here at the unboxing table as you can see, and first up, I just want to say something real quick, okay? So, I hope this ain't the only unboxing experience we're about to get for 950 bucks. Because yeah, that's how much I pretty much paid for this thing was 950 bucks, and then I also applied my student discount to it, so you can actually do that. So when you're actually configuring your device on the order page, you'll actually have this button here way at the bottom that says register now, and you could choose whether you're a student or teacher or whatever. So since I'm a student, I went ahead and clicked on student and then instantly i got like 100 bucks off or 50 bucks off i don't really remember how much exactly so yeah that's really clutch and here's one really weird thing about that so basically they don't ask for your student email or anything they just let you buy with the 50 dollars or 100 dollars off like you don't even have to be a student which is the crazy part but yeah for 950 bucks i'm really underwhelmed right now like look at the galaxy book s snapdragon version that's way better. So I mean like we better have this box up inside this box right now. So yeah, like I was saying, if you go on Samsung.com right now, you can go ahead and pick this thing up for 950 bucks. And they'll actually throw in this free adapter right now. So that's pretty cool. So that's actually $50 cheaper than the Snapdragon one. So I'll go ahead and compare these two in the video. And this is Wi-Fi only, which really sucks. So you can actually pick this thing up right now in the US in two colors, and that's gray here. And finally, Earthy Gold. So thank you, Samsung. I wanted Earthy Gold for so long now. Now it sucks because, like, I want the Snapdragon one. I don't really think I want the Intel one because that's only Wi-Fi. They don't have an LTE one. The only LTE Galaxy Book S that you can get right now in the US is actually the Snapdragon one. So you can't get this one in LTE, which really sucks. And then, like, even in other countries, it's the same exact thing with the colors. You can get the LTE one in other countries with the Intel one, but you can't with this. See, so yeah, that literally makes zero sense, but this is in your typical intel processor this is gonna be a little bit different this is gonna be more resembling the snapdragon one but except this time we have a big benefit here of we can actually natively run x86 apps and x64 apps out here because this is still an intel processor we don't have to emulate any apps or anything so yeah i mean besides that with our really boring unboxing experience i mean let's go and check this thing out so i got old reliable on deck <clears throat> Let's go and do this. And I honestly don't think I'm going to be keeping this thing because I really like my Snapdragon. Oh, yeah. There we go. I was just going to say, man. That Okay. Now I feel better now. But I don't think I'm going to keep this because, well, I like my Snapdragon one and I like my LTE. So that's kind of a downside that I really don't like about this, that it don't have LTE. Now, if this did have LTE, I might be reconsidering. But right now, I'm not. But okay, that made me feel way better. So let's go ahead and get this thing out the box. And here we go. So here's our Earthy Gold. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. This Earthy Gold already looks sick up in here. So let's go and get out of our dryer sheet wrapping right here. And wow, man, I'm feeling that. Oh yeah, this is Boss right here. So this is our Earthy Gold here and I'm loving this. So the thing about this is that this is going to be the same exact body here as our Galaxy Book S here with the Snapdragon processor. Everything inside the box is going to be exactly the same including the charger. The only thing that's really changing out here is the processor obviously. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. So my Galaxy Book S with the Snapdragon did not have this sheet here but yeah so that's our intel core i5 as you can see right there with that sticker right there we got the energy star sticker and well yeah that's pretty much it so looking here at the bottom of the galaxy book s usually this is a semi and sd card tray but now it's just gonna be an sd card tray so yeah that sucks but i mean it is what it is i guess so let me go and show you my snapdragon galaxy book s right here and then you will see that i have a verizon sim card up in here so there we go there's our verizon sim card as you can see there and then you can just put an sd card up in there so let's go ahead and actually turn this thing on but i think we need to go ahead and plug it in first and yeah that's how it usually works with these galaxy book guesses now let's go ahead and get into the rest of the box here so we have our usual books and stuff so what we do with that we're going to take it out and then we throw it to the side and then we actually have an adapter in here so that's pretty nice we don't have an adapter with the galaxy book guess with the snapdragon so that's really different so i guess we do have a little bit 
of a different unboxing experience, but we do have the same fast charger here. We have our USB A to USB C. And then if we look up at here, we got our long USB C to USB C charging cable. So this isn't going to be your standard length. This is going to be like appropriate charger length for your for a laptop. And yeah, so that was pretty much it for the unboxing experience. So that was pretty interesting that it came with this. And like I said, don't forget that we have this multi-port adapter. So this isn't going to be a permanent bundle, but right now if you get it, you do get this for free. So we have a USB-C port, USB 3.1, HDMI 4K, and then we have a PD 3.0. So go ahead and crack it up to this box real quick. And here we go. So we have an aluminum adapter here, as you can see. So pretty nice build quality taking off the plastic and then you can see all of our ports so i mean it looks decent i wonder how much this costs i have to look it up so just looking around this thing if you don't know what the snapdragon galaxy book s looks like i'll go ahead and show you around this real quick so we have our full keyboard here with the same exact keyboard layout as our galaxy book s snapdragon as you can see these are what the two colors look like here side by side and if i go ahead and close these things you'll go ahead and see the lids so man i'm feeling this color so much y'all but this is what it looks like side by side. So we got the gray and then we got the gold. So let me know in the comments below, which color are you feeling more? Now this kind of looks like blue and this lighting here, but trust me, in real life, it don't look like that. Anyways, on the left side, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a regular USB-C port. On the front, we don't have anything. On the right side, we just have another USB-C port and then we have our status light. At the back, we don't have anything. And at the actual like bottom, we don't have anything. And update here, my bad, I actually made a mistake. So we actually do have some stuff at the bottom, like some AK g2 and speakers here and then we also got that sd card tray but all right let's go ahead and just get this thing plugged in so we can go and turn it on and there we go so just looking at the screen real quick i want to go and show you all that so we do have our samsung logo right here you can see that the bezels on here is pretty slim and then we got our webcam here all right turning this thing on and then you can see here that we have our samsung galaxy book s logo so it looks like pretty much the same exact boot up sequence except that this light doesn't blink when it turns on because i noticed that with the snapdragon galaxy book s i know it's a little thing but when you turn this thing on or off this light will blink here so it won't actually just stay like a solid blue light it'll just blink so it looks like we're in the setup now i'm gonna just go ahead and skip through this and then i'll get back to y'all all right so i'm back here i got the thing all set up and actually got a couple of important notes for y'all so i did forget to mention that this power button actually does double as a fingerprint scanner you actually do get a touchscreen display here and i'm also in the bios right now and this bios actually does look completely different from the samsung snapdragon one but you can't see right there their intel core i5 cpu 1.40 gigahertz and then 4096 megabytes of ram so we have 8 gigs of ram in here so yeah you can see right there pretty much confirms what we got up in here and now i'm gonna go and show you that in windows so i mean it is cool and all that this thing has an intel processor we have the earthy gold color here and it can support x86 apps on here but at the end of the day i still think that i'm gonna prefer my snapdragon galaxy book s here even if it is in a color that i don't really want but i think the lte and everything else is just really worth it for me now i will go ahead and do a speed test to see which one is actually faster in another video so stay tuned for that go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't go ahead and miss that and as you can see there it did just log me in with my fingerprint but the last important note that i want to go and show you all that is when i go over here to my samsung apps and i scroll down we actually do have more samsung apps here than we have on the galaxy book s snapdragon version so you can see here that these are some of the apps that we got on here pre-installed like samsung pc cleaner samsung recovery samsung update samsung settings all that type of stuff but do you notice one app that is missing out here smart thing so since this isn't an ARM processor basically this doesn't have smart things out here which kind of sucks but just going here in my system information you can see here that this is an x64 based pc as you can see right there but like i said y'all stay tuned for my speed test between this and that dragon galaxy book s and then the intel one over here but i'm gonna go and get out of here and as you can see here i do have the smart things app open here but thanks for watching y'all if you like this video go and get this video a like and if you really liked it go and subscribe but go and follow me on my social media eddie sent tech on instagram and twitter and Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is the most active. But for the last and final time, these are the two colors here. So let me know which one do you prefer. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and hop out of here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one and peace out.